Good morning. Everybody see this picture here? Mitchell, see that? Does anybody know which mountain that is? Or take a guess? It is a snowy mountain. It's 29,039 feet. It's Mount Everest. Okay. If you look at that guy, see that hiker standing there, the mountain climber, and he's looking at it going, oh, how am I going to get up there? Right? 29,000 feet. So if you see... If you see one of the big, big airplanes, not the little ones that fly around Purdue, but the big ones that are way up in the sky, this is how high they are flying, about 29, 30,000 feet. Do you imagine climbing a mountain that, that, that is that tall up into the air? Can you imagine climbing that mountain without any um, mountain climbing gear, pickaxes, ropes, special boots, winter clothes, oxygen. Can you imagine climbing this mountain without that stuff all by yourself? <clears throat> Today in the sermon, I'm going to talk about that, climbing a mountain. Last week we talked about running a race. Today is climbing a mountain. Imagine climbing the mountain to heaven. It's a mountain that we can't climb. It's one that we can't climb on our own. We just can't do it. Because God says to us, you've got to be perfect You've got to be perfect in everything that you do. And that's an impo impossible mountain to climb. But the thing is, is that Jesus did that for you. He climbed the mountain for you already. And you're going to hear in the sermon today that you're, you are already there. You are already at the top of the mountain because Jesus has won heaven for you already. And that's what I'm going to talk about today is trust what has been done already, that Jesus has done it all for you. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Do you think you can listen for that? Yeah? Would you like to take this picture home with you today? There you go. All right, thanks for listening. Go sit down with your moms and dads, and we'll continue with the hymn of the day.